was written by the Beatles, and in 1970 became the last single that was released by the Beatles before the band broke up. In this lesson, I'll introduce the seven triads that are used in the song. Only one chord is played with an added seven, and two of them are played with a bass note which is different from the root, so I will cover slash chords. Actually, it's pretty much the same chords, just in a different order. So it starts with A minor, and then it goes to G, both of which were used in the intro and in the verse, and then the F, and then C. And as we commonly do, I'll first go through the song, uh, playing each part of the song using all the chords in their root position, and then we'll follow that up by using the technique of finding the chord with the nearest inversion. C. And now, the A minor that I'm going to go to allows me to use this C and then is going to add the A and the E below that. Remember, an A minor chord is an A, a C, and an E. In the song specific section, I'll show you how your left hand is perfectly fitted to playing the five as well as the name note of a chord. And I'll also spend some time showing you how to use the pedal well for Let It Be. That if you have your, your pinky on, on one note and you have your thumb on uh, the octave above that, your number two finger or your pointer finger is going to uh, be pretty much aimed right at the five. And those happen to be the notes that you could pretty much play all the time. What you want to do is avoid gaps in the sound. And so what I'm going to do is when I hit the next chord, okay now watch, I'm going to move up here so you can see the, the flashy thing down here. So as I go from the C to the G, you'll see that at the very instant I hit the G chord, it gets not flashy, you know, it's not shiny, which means that the pedal's up. And then I put it back down before I pick up my hand. So here we go. So come on over to totallykeyboards.com, where you can find the lesson for Let It Be, as well as for many other songs. And while you're there, why don't you check out my free lessons, Dave Coldren's Top 9 Tips for Keyboard Mastery. We'll see you there.